to welcome development, but at the same time, it is not foolproof that the government has yielded to, to the demands of the NSAS movement. The NSAS movement and the protests that we've witnessed um, you know, all over the country over the last one week is a call out, call out on so many things, call out to end police brutality, call out to end extortion of young Nigerians, to end profiling, the killing of young Nigerians. And so we really want to see um, a pragmatic approach taken by the government of the day to address these issues. With SARS now dissolved, do you think the current administration is beginning to heed to the outcries of Nigerians? What does this mean to the civil rights in the country? Thank you so much for that question. Um, I'd like to say that we're living in interesting times. Uh, I am, As a citizen, I am happy about what is happening within our civic spaces. I am really excited that we are reviving the culture of protest in this country, uh, which is supposed to be a norm in a democratic, uh, a democratic setting. And I'm saying this because um, over the last few years, we've, we've witnessed this crackdown on press freedom and on our citizens' rights to freely express themselves. And we must understand that, uh, um, you know, when we talk about democracy, um, people remain at the center. The focus uh, is the people and, and not the government. And so um, NSAS movement is an organic, you know, a grassroots movement, you know, for all concerned Nigerians. And I'm really happy about it. And I feel that it's it's really a culture that must be maintained, the protest culture. And of course, the government has no, uh, you know, no. There's no room but to adhere and listen to the to 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 the demands of the people constructively, and with a view of making sure that the relevant changes they are seeking for are, are met. Thank you. Hang on, Inume. There are so many mixed feelings as to the dissolution of SARS because the same persons will be redeployed to different units in the police force. Do you think ending SARS is the best way to go or reforms? Uh, well, I'm, I am very much aware that um, there is a divided public opinion out there about, you know, how do we go about this and is ending SARS just the way forward? But I just want to say that um, uh, the end SARS movement is a starting point, you know, towards getting us uh, into the real policing issues that we're, we're facing in this country. And of course, like reforms are necessary. It's inevitable. And I think that's, that's part of the, the message from the NSAS movement. We're, we're, we're calling out for an end, you know, for an end to brutality, police brutality. We're, we're, we're calling out uh, for an end to, to the corruption in the system. When you may, finally, what's your opinion as to how we can end police brutalities in Nigeria? Um, the, the police force as an institution in this country has um, a flawed recruitment process. And, and frankly speaking, if, if you look at the recruitment process for police officers, um, it's really, really terrible. I think they just go through a few months or weeks of uh, you know, trainings here and there, and then they're given guns. Uh, that's, that's not supposed to happen. I feel that there is a need for, uh, an, uh, you know, a need for an orientation of uh, uh, what police officers are supposed to do in a democratic setting. I mean, the, 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 the duties and responsibilities of um, police officers are clearly spelled out in the Police Act, and primarily it's just to safeguard the lives and properties of the Nigerian citizen and not, not become the horror, uh, uh, you know, for, for Nigerian citizens. That was Uyume Eyo. Uyume is a lawyer currently working with a civil rights organization in Nigeria. Thank you, Uyume. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.